Hi, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you the methods of building a list from your YouTube channel. When you've had an active YouTube channel for a decent period of time and have garnered a massive number of engaged viewers, it's time to monetize your viewers. You may be wondering how other YouTubers can earn money from their subscribers, and here's the answer. Without further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, you will need to grow your subscribers list. The more subscribers you have, the better you can monetize them. However, when you are building up your list, focus on building engaged subscribers. Active and engaged viewers are more likely to become loyal customers. To attract and engage viewers, you will need to create content that your subscribers find valuable. If the content of your videos fails to provide any real value to your viewers, don't be surprised if you don't get any subscribers. Each video needs to deliver value, your best kept secrets, and your most effective solutions for the problems faced by your target audience. Last but not least, do not be afraid to ask people to subscribe to your channel at the end of your video. I believe that you had seen this before as well a call to action in the form of an annotation asking viewers to hit subscribe. This is a surprisingly easy way to convert interested viewers into subscribers. Annotations are the most effective way of building up a list from your YouTube channel. It enables you to layer text, links, and hotspots over your video. When you use annotations, viewers can actually click on it and be redirected to the URL that you've set. With this function, you can add information, interact with your subscribers, and increase the engagement of your viewers. In fact, you've made their subscription easier by using annotation. They need not to scroll down and look for the link, just one hotspot on the video, and they can click on it and subscribe to your newsletter. To add annotations on your video, you will first need to go to the video manager. Click on the down arrow and select Annotations. This is the place where you can manage all the annotations for your videos. Moving on, when you are on the annotation page, you will see a page with all your videos. Beside each video, there is an Add Annotation button. Select the video that you wish to add an annotation to and click on the button beside the video. You'll then be redirected to the page where you can edit and create your annotation. You can decide when and where you want the annotation to be in your video, and of course, the duration of the annotation. Make the necessary changes and apply the changes, and that's it. The next method that allows you to build your list from your YouTube channel is by editing the annotation to your YouTube in-stream ads. You can tweak some links here to direct your viewers to your home page or squeeze page. For the display URL, Type in your home page or associated website. This will create a link in your in-stream ad which the viewers can click on. In the final or destination URL, insert the URL of your associated website or squeeze page. So when viewers click on the link, they will be directed to your associated website or squeeze page instead. To set up the annotation on your in-stream ads, go to the settings for your in-stream section and then type in the relevant URLs, and then just scroll to the bottom of the page and hit the Save button. If you do not have any ad campaigns running at this moment, and you do not wish to start one, you can consider utilizing the Call to Action Overlay function when you are editing your video. With the Call to Action Overlay, you are able to add a Call to Action box in your video. The only difference of this function and annotation is you can't control the timing of the call to action box. By default, it appears right in the beginning of the video. And this is unlike annotations where you can set the time and design. One similar thing is they both allow you to link the viewers to your associated website. Other than using the annotation, you can utilize the description box of your videos as well. Put in the link of your associated website. Chances are still there where some of the viewers will read the description and hit on your link. You wouldn't want to miss any opportunity to collect leads. One small tip over here, keep your description as short as possible so that the viewers can see the link without expanding the section. 
People are less likely to expand the description box. So take heed of the length of your description when you are setting this up. As mentioned just now, do not be afraid to utilize the end of your video for a call to action. The call to action does not need to be long. Just a half a minute or a minute will be good enough. If people love your content and they stay until the end of the video, they are more likely to respond to your call to action. Just add an annotation at the end of the video to link them to your website. Here are some tips for you. First, and this is the most important one, don't forget every opportunity to get subscribers because opportunities will not wait for you. Grab them before it's too late. You can actually get more viewers when you run your own ad campaign. Great things don't come for free. You will need to pay for the ad. However, it's definitely worth investing in. Instead of waiting for the organic traffic, paid traffic is much faster and more effective and pays off in the end. Last but not least, create an autoresponder account to manage your subscribers, such as AWeber. This is the best system where you can schedule your newsletters ahead of time and continue with the other important tasks.